Peter King here on the Rich Eisen Show. As always, your columns must read. Um, so you hectored Chris Ballard, the general manager of the Colts, into, uh, <laughs> I guess, allowing you to virtually follow him. I mean, how did you report what you did uh, for the Colts and how the general manager is getting ready for this draft with Zooms and meetings and FaceTimes and all that stuff? Well, I came up with this idea, Rich, last week that, uh, I mean, I I had no idea how these teams I, – I, I could sort of figure – that they're doing meetings by vision, by video conference and, and all that. But I didn't really know. So um, I put a few lines in the water with teams and the Colts agreed to allow me to chat. Um, you know, in the case of Frank Reich, it was actually by zoom video conference. Uh, and, and in, in, in with others, it was simply by telephone to sort of tell me, Tell me what your week is like. Tell me what your day is like. Tell me how are you doing your job now. So I got six people in the organization to tell me exactly where they're working from. You know, one of their social media people, Amber Darrow, is working from her couch about five miles from the Colts complex. Uh, and and uh, their offensive quality control guy has decamped to his parents' house in northern Mississippi, where he had to make sure there was good Wi-Fi there in Corinth, Mississippi before he went there. But in general, I just wanted to see exactly how teams were working, how they were able to continue doing their jobs. And, and Rich, I'll tell you one of the interesting things, at least to me. You know, when the top 30 visits, which are vitally important to so many teams, it's honestly, it's how Andy Reid got to be smitten with Patrick Mahomes. He had him for a day in the Colts com- in the Chiefs complex in Kansas City in 2017, and and basically that convinced him to take Mahomes to trade up and take him. Well, they're not going to have that this year. So mm. how are they doing it? Well, in succession, uh, they basically have a series of one-hour meetings, either by Zoom or FaceTime or maybe Cisco, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, whatever their video conference of choice is. And they do that, and they have a maximum of one hour per team employee that they can talk to this guy. And then at the end of three hours, they're done, and they got to make their decision. So everybody's going to say, wah, 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 cope with it. It's just and, – and the Colts aren't complaining. They're simply saying, here is our new fact of life. And, Rich, I, I just wonder, especially Tua Tongavaloa, think about it. How is a team going to be really comfortable with picking him when their doctors and they cannot get their hands on him to do a complete and thorough physical of that hip and those two ankles? So, and and that front, though, didn't he have some sort of medical recheck um, that that all team doctors were able to, I guess, chime in on? Yes. Okay, so that that doesn't check that box, you don't think? Potentially? I'm, I don't know, Rich. I mean, I still think that there's a lot of these teams that they want to look their own orthopedist in the face right. and say, listen, yeah. uh, we're going to pick this guy with what? The second, third, fourth, ninth pick in this draft. And, and, we're gonna, and, and, and first of all, we can't even get him in our own facility to sit down and talk football with him even though I'm sure a lot of people have already done some things like that. All I'm saying is it's doable, but it's scary.